This is one of the questions from my AM cat and this is a bit on the tougher side. I have chosen tough questions because that way we could discuss many different topics under a single question. I will solve the question and then we will discuss different approaches to the solution. I will draw the diagram by then you can try and solve this question on your own. So I hope you try to solve this question. A straight road connects point A and B as shown in the diagram. Car 1 travels from A to B and car 2 travels from B to A both leaving at the same time. After meeting each other, so let's assume that they are meeting each other at X. They take 45 minutes and 20 minutes. Let's assume that the time taken by car C1 to start from A and reach X is T. Which means the time taken by car C2 to start from B and reach X will also be same. Now let's continue reading the question. After meeting each other, they take 45 minutes. So, so the first car takes 45 more minutes to reach destination B and car C2 will take 20 minutes to complete the journey. 20 minutes to reach the destination which is A. If car 1 travels at the speed of 60 km per hour, then the speed of car 2 in km per hour is. So that's what we have to find out. Let's take the speed of car 1 as S1 and speed of car 2 as S2. So what I am going to do next is try to find out the value of t. Let's take the distance from a to x, a to x. We can see that car c1 will travel from a to x taking t minutes as we have already assumed and car c2 will take 20 minutes to travel this distance. So s1 will be equal to distance ax by t and s2 will be equal to ax by 20. Now let's take the next part of the journey that is from x to b or b to x. So b x speed of car number one will be equal to distance is bx divided by time taken by car one is 45 minutes so i'll write it as 45 i'm taking the unit of time as minutes itself if it's confusing for you then convert the 45 minutes into hour which will be 3 by 4th of an hour or 0.75 but you can do this in this manner too but remember that speed of car given is in kilometer per hour so there will be a conflict if you are not careful speed of s2 will be equal to same distance bx divided by t. So we started out to find out the value of t but we are right now in this position with the bx, s1, s2 and ax. So what can we do next? So I will try to eliminate all of this. So s1 divided by s2 for the ax part will be equal to ax divided by t divided by ax by 20. So x and ax get cancelled and you will get 20 divided by t. For bx also I will do the same s1 divided by s2 bx and bx will get cancelled t by 45 so now we have got two different equations equation number one and equation number two both of them are s1 by s2 so we can equate equation one and two and we will get it as 20 by t is equal to t by 45 so that means t square is equal to 45 into 20 45 to 90 900 and t is equal to root of 900 which will be 30 minutes so now we have got the value of t as 30 minutes so we write it down here i hope you understood till now and the rest of the question is very simple you have the speed of the second car so you can solve it in many different methods i will show you the easiest of them let's take the ax portion distance from a to x you can see that the distance is same for car c1 and c2 which means speed will be inversely proportional to time therefore for the first car s1 will be inversely proportional to 1 by t is 30 minutes and s2 will be inversely proportional to 1 by 20 the time taken by car 2 to travel from x to b is 20 as given here so dividing these two you will get s1 by s2 is equal to 20 by 30 1 by 30 and 1 by 20 will be you take the reciprocal of 1 by 20 you will get it as 20 by 30 so you cancel this you will get 2 by 3 now if you look at the question the speed of the first car is given as 60 km per hour so s1 will be substituted by 60 you cross multiply you will get 3 by 2 is equal to s2 2 30 s2 is equal to 3 into 30 90 so s2 is equal to 90 km per hour option a is our answer i hope you understood the solution i have taken the value of uh, time in this equation as minutes itself we are dividing both of the values so the unit doesn't matter here and now i would like to show you a different solution for example instead of taking s1 is equal to ax by 
t and s2 is equal to ax by 20. You could have applied s is inversely proportional to time in the cases of ax and bx. So instead of going through all these hoops, you could have simply written s1 by s2 equal to t2 by t1. And here also the same relationship will hold because the distance is constant which is bx. So you could have reached the equation number 1 directly. So as you go on doing this question, you will find out much simpler method. For example, instead of doing all these things, you could have just simply written the ratio between the time taken by car C1 which is T and time taken by car C2 to travel the stretch from A to X which is 20 which will be same as ratio of time taken by car C2 to travel from X to B which is 45 and time taken by car number 1 to travel from X to B which is T. So you would have reached t square is equal to 900 without going through all these equations. I hope you understood this. Questions of this pattern is constantly seen in IAM CAT and other exams conducted by IAM. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.